Hi, I'm Kelly V. Dolan. And I'm Mabel Aragon. And we are at the 2012 MTV Movie Awards. Make sure you check out all the interviews on Live with Aaron and Kelly. You won't want to miss it. Well, Aaron M. Sanchez as well. But Kelly V. Dolan is so much... Hi, sir. How are you? Oh. Your premiere song here on Live with Aaron and Kelly. Yes, on Live with Aaron and Kelly. Hey, what's up, you guys? I'm Kaya Jones, and you're here with Aaron and Kelly live. My company stepped up. I think we need to do it. Hello. We got the step I and charge it, it I'm up. Like Hi, I'm Miss Trinity, and you are live with Aaron and Kelly. Keep it locked. Michael, so tell us what, what's going on with this belt here, uh, buddy? The Bellator Lightweight World Championship belt. Uh, we fight um, for Bellator. We fight on MTV2. Okay. Um, and uh, that's why we're here, hanging out. Very cool. And what type of fighting is this? Uh, it's mixed martial arts, so it's the, it's the stuff in the cage. Okay, now everyone goes back and forth. They talk about mixed martial arts. They talk about boxing. What do you think is the toughest? Definitely mixed martial arts. Why so? Well, I mean, because it's basically boxing with grappling with takedowns with slams with submissions um, and and it's just more more of a rough rough sport you know it's and you got to put you got to put everything together you have to learn five different disciplines not just boxing not just wrestling not just grappling where do you train at I train in Las Vegas okay. uh, at extreme couture very cool and if somebody wants to get into mixed martial arts what where, what some advice to them uh, get in the wrestling room you, I think the the best the best fighters these days are the re the guys who, who wrestled first I wrestled in college and that kind of transitioned over and it's been a pretty easy transition so okay and it's 2012 MTV movie awards what was your favorite favorite movie would you say in the past like year in the last year uh, shoot um, <laughs> come on what, you thought you were gonna talk about top fighting top three, what your top three and I bet my head uh, oh, look at it. Like, see how he turned it on me? I will say, I will give you my favorite one. It was Crazy Stupid Love. I thought it was an absolutely perfect movie. Where, did you see it? Which one is that? It was Ryan Gosling was in it. And, uh... I'm not going to tell you. I'm giving you too much No, see, anything. I think I saw it. I think I saw it. He's really funny. He was on The Office. Oh, and Steve Carell? Yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah, where he's he's the ladies' man. Yeah. Uh, I did see that, okay. That was, a that was my favorite movie. The ladies look gorgeous, men so handsome. So talk to me a little bit about this show. I'm intrigued. July 17th, everything you need to know, 11 p.m., MTV2. You got to watch it. It's, it's, the guys, it's the guy's guide to manhood, guide code. Every man needs it out there. Even if you think you don't need it, you're going to watch it because you're going to laugh. And girls need to watch it because girls should know what the guide code is to make sure their man follows it. I've actually learned more than I want to know about guys That's being true. on the show. You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> Can you give us a few hints right now? About guide code? Yeah, All right. Your jeans should not be tighter than your girlfriend's. <laughs> oh guy code. That's Can true. we talk about like, how we like women to be shaved down there? Because everybody likes bald vaginas. Yeah, we talk a lot about manscaping, about mm -hmm. if a guy should sh shave his chest hair or not. We just say be confident in it, you know? Yeah. Be confident in what you have. That's a good <laughs> amount of chest hair to have. Clearly you're confident, so that's the amount you should have. <laughs> I don't have any of that. You can I have trim it. hard look in my life to put hair on my chest. So we have a lot of young viewers out there. What's some advice that you can give to them if they want to get into this industry? Um, I'd have to say just accept being told no to because it doesn't matter who you are. You're always getting told no to, and you just have to take that and learn from it and keep going. Except rejection. Yep. <laughs> and anything else coming out that you want to plug real quick? Uh, yeah, our music. Uh, you want to say a little bit? Uh, yeah, we just got off tour. It was called The Digitour, and uh, two days ago we got back from Allentown, Pennsylvania, and uh, soon we'll be going to New York and the Caribbean, and um, hopefully just writing more music with Jonathan Tuline and Sean Cook. And, and look yeah. out for this movie I did called White Frog. It's about a... Uh, it's about a boy who has Asperger's and uh, him having to bring his family back together after a tragic accident. Very cool. And the character you play, what's the character? His name's Nick Young and he uh, has Asperger's and um, yeah, it was just a lot of research and I had a great time doing it. It was fantastic. Okay, and really quickly, your sound, you said you guys both do music. Are you guys do it together? Or? Yes, we do it together. Um, our sound is more of like a top 40 pop type of thing. Absolutely stunning. <laughs> Talk to me a little bit about the evening. How excited are you? Oh my gosh, this is going to be a really fun night. I'm really excited. We actually had a fan win a ticket. 
so they're in the audience tonight. So that should be cool. It's going to be a great show. Any particular celebrities, movies that you hope will will, uh, will be taking home the trophy? I'm just curious. I'm just curious. There's so many categories like best kiss and best fight. I just want to see what's going to win. I'm excited. Yeah, I'm just along for the ride, too. <laughs> We're just little spectators over here. <laughs> well, spectators always have some upcoming projects. Anything you can talk to us about? Yeah, um, I'm on The Lion Game, and I just did a feature film called Captured. And she just did a, a movie, movie with Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus, Kelly Osbourne, Jeremy Piven. It's called So Undercover, and it's coming out soon. <laughs> I don't know when, but it's coming. So tell me what's going on with the show, guys. Oh, uh, we're anxiously two awaiting premieres. season two. Yeah, when June 28th. June 28th? Mm -hmm. What time? 10.30. PM. Way, yeah. to, way to plug in, <laughs> right? We got that right. Check. Awesome. And um, how do you feel about being here at the MTV Movie Awards? It's exciting. This is great. I love Russell Brand, love the Black Keys. So sure, we get to see a little sneak peek of The Dark Knight, from what I understand. No, so how exciting is that? Very. Now, what would you say is your favorite movie that you guys have seen in the last year? Bridesmaids. So they're, they're being nominated. Who was your favorite in that? Oh, it's a toss-up. They were all so funny. They were all so I mean, Melissa McCarthy is pretty genius, and so was Kristen Wiig. I mean, all around funny women. You got to root for that movie. And what would you say your favorite of this past year? I'm pretty sure it's not going to be nominated, but the first movie popping into my mind is Shame. Oh, <laughs> your favorite? I just That's okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so. Very Conversation just took a dark turn. Yeah, so. and you know what? I'm not even going to say anything about it. Just go see it, and you'll already, yeah, you'll get it. Steven, I, I couldn't help but over here, so you're a big uh, Tom Cruise fan, I see. Huge Tom Cruise fan. I, I know, like, back in 2005, everyone was like, oh, Tom Cruise. And I'm like, no, Tom Cruise is awesome. Yeah. So I guess you're pretty excited about seeing him in Mission Impossible? I, I love that movie. That was my favorite movie of last year, and I still can kind of consider it this year because it came out in the, in the winter. Such a good movie. So. Other movies, other categories that you're looking forward to hearing about at, at today's awards? Um, I'm just excited for Harry Potter. I wanted to finally win because, you know, honestly, I'm a huge Potterhead, and the fact that it kind of got shafted at the Oscars, I'm not going to talk about here, but I would. We won't say anything. You won't say anything exactly. I would love to see it win over um, Twilight. <clears throat> I mean, what? Twilight's great. Hey, this is all between us. <laughs> it's just between us. No one else, right? So you mentioned the movie. Did, were you, uh, did you read the books? Of course I read the books. That, that is actually, I mean, it's the cliche story, but that's what got me reading. I wasn't a huge, I, I was more into Sega Genesis and Nintendo and stuff, and then I watched the first movie, and I was just so enraptured by this world that I'm, I had to read it. And then, of course, then I had to wait for the books to come out. Thanks, J.K. Rowling. We talked about Tom Cruise, Harry Potter. Talk to us about some of your projects. Some of my projects. Well, I'm on MTV's Teen Wolf, which premieres tonight, which is very exciting. And I'm very gorgeous in it and very funny. and Very modest. Very modest, of course, yes. I work with a great cast, which is amazing. And it was great doing that after something like Private Practice, which I was on for a while. And I did a movie with Dennis Quaid called Beneath the Darkness. And my career's looking up, so... Yeah. So how about with this particular project, what was it about it when you read the script that you were like, I have to be a part of it? I, honestly, I didn't want to be a part of it. Honestly. Um, I heard about Teen Wolf, I thought it was the dumbest thing in the world. I'm like, oh, they're just trying to be Twilight. Ugh. And then I actually watched an episode, I'm like, this is actually a really awesome show. It's funny, it's full of action, there's a lot of shirtless men and women. I oh, I have to watch it. <laughs> you do have to watch it if you like very ripped, muscly, handsome men. Let's see. Yeah, I think I could deal with it. I guess you could deal with it. Okay, so it's all about Teen Wolf. It airs tonight, right? That's right. Right after the show. Okay, what, what can we expect? Give us a little teaser. Suspense, thriller, and fear. Ooh, and what is your character? Tell us a little bit about that. My character is skilled at writing haiku poems. Did you like that one right there? Really? Are you making, are you telling me the truth? No, 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 I'm just saying. I was really impressed by that. Thank you. No, uh, the character I play is Boyd. Okay. And he's one of the new characters on the show. And he uh, is one of the characters that morphs from being very insecure and self-conscious to a more confident and uh, self-assured guy. So you have to kind of you know, dig deep and be able to play two different yeah. characters, yeah. essentially. It was a lot of fun. I had to really start off and go through a whole arc and transition of a character. What's your favorite movie that you've seen? The last year, ooh, Shark Knight 3D. Oh, I wasn't expecting that one. Nice one. All right, I don't want to hold you anymore. Thank you so much. Get in there. Have a good time. <laughs>
Shark Night 3D. Woo! I haven't seen that one. Have you guys seen that one?